Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. And that is a 16 by 20 inch canvas covered with some Meaden, M-E-E-D-E-N, Meaden Black Acrylic Paint, which you might want to check under the video to see if there's an affiliate code. Because there will be one eventually, I think, I hope. Anyway, so I'm going to cover this canvas with some colors and worry about what it turns into when it turns into it later. And I'm going to start with something fun, which is, for me, Deco Art Americana 24 karat gold. Don't really have much idea what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. This is a Color Art product. This is Chantilly Lace. This is also color art. This is a vivid, intense quinacridone red. Which is going to be joined by a little big apple, which is a prism pour, which I don't use often and I'm trying to get myself ready to use more of more often, if that makes any sense. I have a color I don't use very often. Vivid Intense. It's a red-orange. I know it is. It's comparable to the Saffron. It's a Vivid Intense. And with that, I'm going to use some Orange Crush. No paint chips included. So you can see the difference. Then I've got some Sour Lemon with some Purely Pigments, which is another color art product. Holly Berry. No idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it. This is Poinsettia. This is another Prism Pour. I probably should have shaken a little more. And for now, last but not least, Jasmine. Well, I like this in here, but it's got to go, so I don't have a choice. That's a lot of yellow color. I take my leftover colors on my spatula. Bring them down here. Being called to some blues. I am gonna use my what do I call scrapings? And I'm just gonna take what I've got. find some blue. This is ultramarine blue. This is a vivid intense. I don't know if I'm going to get away with this or not. I don't actually know what I'm doing. But I know I can always add to or subtract from. And I am going to wipe that off so I don't have orange on it when I go into the blue. which might be a little tricky. And I keep craving some darker blue, which is bound to be the Egyptian blue. I'm wondering if I can blow some of this color. I 
and I can certainly add colors. I love this. I can certainly add colors by squeeze bottle. I'm wondering about what's in here. I'm taking some... That's not the color I'm looking for. I'm looking for some periwinkle. Don't ask me why. This is... I just need therapy. It's been a few days. I went to Art in the Park in Brooksville. And it was challenging. It's been three days since I came back and I'm still still in recovery. I think that the Prussian Violet is coming right up. Let's give it a little shake. At any given point in time, I could just decide to add some cell activator to a paddle knife and have a go. I am thinking that some either some Tuscan Sun or some, in this case, let's get rid of that bubble. Assuming it is a bubble. This is shiny taffeta. Believe it or not, that was a car, not a dog. Limping down the road. Strange. Alright. Speaking of strange, this is getting pretty strange. But as long as I'm having fun, it does not matter. I am feeling called to a little bit of what? I've got a Hollyberry Prism Pour added to Crimson Lust, which I think is a primary element. Oh, Red Heart. Let's just give it... Trying to meld those two zones. Might just give it a straw. And a skewer while I'm at it. A skewer can could take that bubble right out first. And maybe that bubble second. I suspect that my little black lines will fill in and I'll keep an eye on them just in case they don't. I kind of want to drip that down. I'm going to steal a little paint, bring it back up there. Let everything drip. Because I can always add shovels. And that's what I'm thinking. That's what my original thought was, that I would add shovels of paint maybe the next day over whatever I start with. And there's certain areas of paint that are dripping, of course. I'm wondering about, I'm kind of liking this actually, it's getting better than it, 
it didn't look like it was going to turn out to be much of anything, but that's a lot of the, a lot of the time that's the way it starts. Now I've got saffron. I talked about saffron, so I'm going to use some saffron, hopefully. I won't be using it if it's not open. Fortunately, it is. It's taking a long time to stop running, and I'm not squeezing. All right, I'm going to try and stop it. There we go. It is what it is. I could even put interferences on this, but I don't think that's going to happen right now. I'm going to pull out the pink carnation. Are you open, pink carnation? Still, come on. Still craving some Egyptian blue. But right now, I got the call to Miami Magenta. Assuming that it's open, we'll use it. And maybe a little bit of something else. Like water lily, which might be, I don't have a lot of that. I'm still thinking Chantilly Lace for some reason. I'm still thinking Egyptian Blue, actually. But the Prussian Blue blue is also calling me. And so is the Midnight Shadow. Let's look for... What have I got? I've got Prism for Parrot Wing, which is a good blue. And I am keep looking at this spa, spot up here. And I need to do something with it. I kind of want to see what the parrot wing and the Egyptian blue would look like next to each other. So let's put that away and see if... There it is. I got it. I haven't done any turquoise yet, and I kind of want to, but I'm seeing bubbles. And I want to pop them. And I just dotted the canvas. Okay, we'll live with it. Egyptian blue is not coming out easily. And I'm still being called to the ultramarine blue, but what I've enjoyed a lot recently is some phthalo turquoise. Yeah, I think it's going to be the phthalo turquoise. It makes an amazing statement when it's dry. I can't take a picture of it, which is really frustrating. Okay, I'm not quite there yet. I was going to blow into it, but I'm going to put some orange in there. And maybe some jasmine. And then instead of blowing it down and away, I'll blow it up and in. It's odd. is all in lieu of the spatula. Come on, up you go. I like running my finger up the edge of the canvas. I also like taking paint that's lost and making it found. Yeah, that's kind of odd. I'm thinking I want to take that shiny taffeta and try a little something something with the sour lemon.
Okay, we're just going to live with any dots we wind up with. I kind of want to do the same thing down here, but I'm not sure how it's going to work. And I like this turquoise. I need some of it in here. It's hard getting in a small amount. Looks like there's bubbles in there again. And I was right, there are bubbles in there. Yes, I'm experimenting with mixing paint up in weird shapes. I'm not sure I like my experiment. I like seeing how colors mix. And I like blowing spirals and things, so that's a perfect combination. tried to bounce my straw. That's kind of cool. I think there's going to be some more orange in my future here. When that timer goes off, I'm going to have to decide what I'm going to tell you. This is more orange crush. Alright, I've got two minutes and I'm having some fun and I still want to come back and work on this probably. Whoops. Skewer on the floor. Skewer down. I've got two more, at least two more zones I want to work on. Not including over here because I think something's going to happen over there. So I'll be back in a sec. Alright, I'm back. I better focus though. So this is just some fun I'm having. And I'm going to try a little more Big Apple over here. And some more Quinacridone Red, Vivid Intense. And I think I'm going to put some of that right in here also. And maybe Jasmine, which is always good, in my opinion. I dribbled. Darn. Oh well, it is what it is. I'll live with it. I'll just use my skewer. Add a few dots. I want to take out a few bubbles. Liking all that. Definitely contemplating putting more up here. I've got 10 minutes before I'm going to get called to dinner. I want some purple. 
I'm really liking the, how the jasmine looks, so maybe I should skip it. Or maybe I should just use the Prussian Violet. If I open it, it helps. I like what happens when the jasmine and the Prussian Violet are next to each other. This doesn't look too bad. It's going to be different. It's strictly for my own amusement. And I only have one more zone I want to play with after this anyway, except for I keep being called to uh, Chantilly Lace. Now that's the tiny end of the skewer, but it has a little, one of those bamboo hairs on it, which really peeves me when it happens. But I'm having fun. I'm going to get that bubble. And throw a little turquoise in down there. It seems like I'm have to gonna, gonna have to go over it in order to make it show up. I kind of wanted some more gold, and I didn't use it, and I'm ready. This is the Decor at Americana 24 karat gold again. made that nonsensical. I'm going to go back in the wrong direction and then tip it down again as well. I might even tip it into a little receptacle. And then tip it back again. So I like the way the jasmine reacts with whatever it encounters, basically. And so far I've liked how the drips have turned out, and I'm still getting more drips, and I'm not minding them. Which is a good thing, because I definitely got more than I bargained for. But that's pretty cool the way that worked. I'm going to grab some of that. And connect the dots. Do I want to just smooth that in? I kind of might. I got bubbles and I'm going to need to torch them. For that I'm going to use my propane torch. Just a little easy integrate. Oh, I just hit that with my fingernail. Okay. A little more jasmine up there. This is still a concern for me. So what am I going to do with that? I think it's going to have to be Jasmine. Just because maybe Jasmine and Orange Crush. I'd like to have enough time to at least show you what happens. I want Saffron too. Maybe Miami Magenta. I think so. I 
keep wondering if I could get away with adding a little bit of turquoise. As long as I'm not messing with it too much, it might not become affected by the colors around it too badly. I just, I'm afraid that everything's going to run. So I'm going to blow it around. I could spatula it. I'm going to grab a little more. Oh, I got a drip. All right. I do use GAC 800 by Golden, which means that my paint doesn't craze or crack when I leave it a little heavy. I have no idea why I went all the way up there. I really hadn't intended on doing that until I did it. I didn't know I was. Ooh, that was close. That was an invitation from the Quinacridone Red to come and play with us. Oh, and that's gorgeous. So I'm not 100% sure this is done, but I'll, uh, you'll know if you don't see any more added to it. And uh, I'm going to torch what I've got. I'm going to pick up this. I'm going to pick that up with a Q-tip. And it should be like it was never there in a moment anyway. After I Wipe off my skewer. Almost like it was never there. I'm really thinking I want some dots. Some more dots. I think that would make it. And I'm willing to risk. Ugh. I get little tails. If I hate it, I can wipe them off. I'm going to try and make this round. And tomorrow, I can lead the dots right over if I want to. I can come out the other side. Well, that's kind of cool. I like the way that le that yellow looks, and I was I'm surprised. Also, kind of surprised it stayed so clean. I wish I wasn't having those little snap back tails I get. Come on, let go. So the only other th color that I'm really thinking, I wish that would stop happening. I mean really stop happening. What is knocking my bottles over? I don't know. I gotta see. The Vivid Intense works much, much easier. I think I mixed it with Floatrol, that's probably why. Nice round dots. And uh, that's, that's cool. I'm kind of working overtime here.
All right, so just in case I'm done, I'm going to tell you guys I love you. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Check out for my 34 playlists that I, I also have all the topics and genre organized. So if you ever want something, all you have to do is ask. This was just fun therapy for me, and I think it's pretty close to being done, if not completely done. I could have used some more negative space. I could have used... I might not be done. <laughs> I suspect those are going to dendrite. Oh, I keep dipping my bottle into the painting, so I've got some really weird little marks that look like eyelashes right here. So I'm going to drop a little blue over them. A little. more ultramarine blue, if I can get the bottle open. Tell you guys I love you. Whatever I've forgotten is, um, there's a 20% off color art coupon code under the video and a 10% off pixel paint designs coupon code. And um, <laughs> everything else has sort of left my head. Uh, thank you for the thumbs up. I really, really appreciate the members of my channel helping support my continuing efforts to bring YouTube, YouTube tutorials for fluid acrylics because um, otherwise I couldn't afford to be here anymore. So I want to say thank you also to all my patrons and uh, those of you who contribute through PayPal also. I don't know what I'm doing but I'm, I'm still having way too much fun to stop. I just don't feel like it. And I love dots. And so it's a fairly small skewer I'm using. Just for the fun of it. is the best reason of all for painting. If you're interested in purchasing an artwork, use my email address, E-A-S-P-B, and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. And uh, my link tree has everything you would want to see on it. None of which I can think of right at the moment. PayPal, uh, PayPal's on there, yeah, the donation option. I'm still gonna have to torch this because I see a few bubbles. So it's freeform fun. And that's what I'll call it, freeform fun. Questions are welcome and encouraged. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. I post at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My Amazon link has my two books on it. The first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube about paint pouring tutorials. Um, what am I forgetting? Everything. Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. My email is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out gmail.com. I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And uh, I think I'm done. <laughs> I can't remember anything else to tell you, except for that I love you and I hope you come again. And uh, bye for now. Priscilla out. You'll see it in another video if I, if I remember in a second. It'll be too late. Bye.